Hello and welcome to the part two of creating visuals in Power BI. In the part one, we created a single visual representing data from one field in our data model. You can format your visuals. For example, if I wanted to change the color on the visuals, I can do that. In this area here under the visualization, click on this icon that looks like a paint roller. Okay, that's the formatting options and it gives you different options that you can use to format your visuals. For example, here I've got the data colors. If I want to change that from this default color, I'll click on this to expand it and I'll click on the drop down. I can select a random color. So let's say I select that one. You can see the color has changed on the map. If I don't like that color, if I want to revert to the original default color, I just click on revert to default. But feel free to experiment with different formatting options. So every visualization option has different types of formatting that you can apply to them. You can have multiple visuals on a single page in your report view. So this here is just page one, just one page. So if I want to add more visuals, I can do that. So I can come here and just drag another field into this area here. So I can come and drag this state field. And if I want to add another field inside this same visual, for example, state code, I can drag that in. So you can have multiple fields inside one visual. So the visual you have can represent data from multiple fields. This one here represents data from just one field. And this one here represents data from two fields, the state and the state code. You can also change the type of visuals. For example, I can represent this visual in a table format. So I can come here, look at the visualization and select this option for table. You can see by having this in a table format, I'm able to see the state and see the state code clearly. So this is just visuals on one page. So the key thing to note is that you can have multiple visuals on a single page and you can have multiple fields in a single visual. So I want to create more visuals, but on a different page. So there are two ways you can add a page to your visual. You can click on this option that says new page, or you can come here on the bottom and click on the plus sign and that plus sign will add a new page. You can see now it's now showing page two. So let's say I want to find out the overall crime rate per state. So what I can do, I can come here and just drive, drag this crime field there and I'll drag the state into it as well. And then I'll drag the overall rank into that. So you can see as I drag each field, it checks the options. So you can see here I've got three fields check, which means I've got three fields represented in this visual. So I can expand this, you can drag it and just move it around if you want on the canvas in case if you want to add more fields to it. It allows you to do that. So you can see here, I've got crime and overall rank by state. So this color here code shows the crime and the overall rank here is in this darker color. So you can see here that the state obviously with the highest crime rate, overall crime rate is Maryland according to this data here. All right, so feel free to play around with the different fields and experiment with the different visualization options. So you can add more pages to your reports and add different types of visualization. A lot depends on the type of data that you try to represent. If you want to spread the data across different pages, it's up to you. Please feel free to experiment. You can create more report pages and create more visualization on those pages. 
just from the data model. Just select the fields you want and just play around and um, experiment. That's the best way to get the hang of things. So that is it for this video on creating visuals with Power BI. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.